Hello, my name is Carl Hendricks with HK Laundry Equipment and we are the Laundry Experts. Today we're inside the Thornwood Laundromat to talk about the utilities required to operate a laundromat. Laundromats use a tremendous amount of utilities to operate the washers, dryers, and hot water heater. The larger the store, the larger the utilities that are required to come into the laundromat. Everyone realizes that they're going to need washers and dryers and bill changers and folding tables, but not everyone realizes that we also have to power them with sufficient capacity of utilities. This is a quick little video to identify the hidden costs in opening a brand new laundromat with regard to the necessary utilities. The four utilities we're going to be talking about today are water, sewer, electricity, and gas. Water. Undersized laundromat water lines are probably the most common hidden cost in setting up a new laundromat. A majority of all new laundromats do not have sufficient water supply to power the store. Expensive excavation and plumbing is required to deliver the proper amount of water to operate a laundromat. Your typical normal laundromat would require a 2 inch water main to supply the store. If the store is less than 1500 square feet, an inch and a half water line will be sufficient. Consult your local laundry equipment distributor who is really the expert in this matter. Sewers. Laundromats produce a tremendous amount of water, thousands of gallons of water a day. Laundromats need to be connected to a municipal city sewer system. Laundromats cannot be installed on septic systems or leaching fields. Although there are a couple of very unique recycling systems in the United States, they are not economically viable, except in very unique communities like Montauk, Long Island, or Provincetown, Cape Cod. We're talking for these recycling systems somewhere between $250,000 to $400,000 of initial cost because you're building a miniature wastewater treatment plant. If you do not have city sewers at your laundromat site, stop, do not pass go, and you're going to have to look elsewhere. There are no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Electricity. Laundromats require a tremendous amount of electricity. There are two different types of electrical service for laundromats. There's single phase electricity and there's three phase electricity. Three phase electricity typically is much more industrial and preferred for laundromats. Washers can be built to operate with single phase electricity but will require a larger electrical service to get as much power as a regular three phase service. Electrical services are rated in amps. Your typical 2,000 square foot laundromat will require approximately 400 amps of three phase electrical service. This also depends upon the number and the size of the equipment and also other uses such as air conditioning. Many of the new washers built nowadays can operate on either single phase electricity or three phase. Consult your local laundry equipment distributor and your electrician to determine your exact service requirement needs. Gas. Gas is used to power the dryers and also used to generate hot water. Gas comes in different forms. We've got natural gas, which is sometimes called city gas, and is delivered to the buildings underground. The other form of gas is LP gas, or liquid petroleum. It's also sometimes called bottle gas because it's stored in tanks and bottles. Laundromats require a tremendous amount of gas to heat the hot water and dry the clothes in the dryers. Recently I've seen several cases where there was not enough gas supply in the streets, especially at the very end of the gas distribution lines, and the gas company could not deliver enough gas for the laundromat. In this case, an option for the laundromat is to pay a significant amount of money to the gas company to increase the pipes and the capacity in the streets. Another option would be to put LP tanks underground on your property. But LP gas is almost twice as expensive as natural gas. But having LP gas as an option is still significantly cheaper than electric dryers. When in doubt, consult your laundry equipment distributor for your gas demands for your laundromat and then consult your local plumber and gas customer service rep to verify the capacity coming into the building and the street. Every laundromat needs utilities to operate their laundromat. It's far better to learn about a utility issue 
early in the construction project than rather once you've already completed all the construction and you're ready to open the doors. Just realize that some laundromat locations just cannot become laundromats because of the lack of sufficient utilities. I recently knew a customer who purchased the lot and built a brand new building and installed it with laundry equipment and a card system only to find out that there wasn't enough gas in the street. The gas company had the audacity to quote them $70,000 to re-equip the gas mains in the street. The customer obviously didn't accept that. One year later, he finally opened the store after installing LP tanks in his driveway. Ouch. Unfortunately, we're seeing more and more of this with the gas companies. They control the supply and the distribution, and if we're looking to put a new business in, we're at their mercy. I hope you found this video on laundromat utilities valuable and informative. HK has spent considerable time and energy to produce this video and hope you found it educational and worthwhile. We'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments on this video and any other topics you'd like to hear about. Please respond to us on YouTube or email me at carl with a K at hklaundry.com. Thank you.